In this expose, we shall uncover the mind of God concerning this global plague, the coronavirus. It did not come as a surprise. God spoke concerning this catastrophic impact of the virus, delivering the curing solution for humanity through Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa before tens of thousands several years ago in Harare, Zimbabwe. I saw also, now we have diseases that are coming. We have seen many diseases and all that we have, we have been praying about it and we are praying and uh, you will have another disease more deadly. And I, am, I saw it coming from the sea. They will investigate it, they will find it, it will come from the ocean. More deadly than HIV and cancer. Very fast, very aggressive. How are they going to bring it out of the sea? I don't know. Is it a weed? Is there a creature in the ocean? Is it food from the sea? But it will originate from under the waters, from the ocean. And thousands, if not millions, if not billions, will die. Don't say it wasn't public, it's public. But we need to keep on praying because they can prevent it, they can slow it down, but they can't cure. It's a problem. I'm concerned. That's why the Holy Spirit gives me all this information. I'm concerned. I want people to live. I want people to be happy. But these are things that we can pray against. Pray against. Because this is not good news. Imagine sitting there watching your screen and you're seeing millions upon millions of people dying, thousands of people in one city, dying in one day. It's a plague. It's a plague. It will be serious. It will be something that will seem like it, it flies in the air. You do not want to look at that. You will not want our learned people who will break down, they will cry. They will call upon the Lord. They will even call upon the Lord. They will ask God to help them. They will even insult God. It will be painful. It will be painful. It's a plan. But why am I coming to you? So that we pray against it. So, God preserves. God gives life. You have just watched part one. Here comes part two. This Sunday church service was a day never to be forgotten. The congregation was left in wonder at the magnitude of such a plague. One that would leave the medical fraternity helpless and could potentially rob the earth of billions unless prayer was made against it. Two months and 18 days later, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa returned to reiterate this dire prophecy and add more prophetic details. Again, remember the prophets that I gave about a disease. Now each time I'm praying, I'm seeing now it's coming closer and closer and closer. A disease from the sea, which will kill more people than any disease that you have fought before. Very fast. And I saw people falling like leaves and dying. 
they will do everything to investigate where is it coming from. They will not find. But eventually, they will confirm what I'm telling you. Something will bring that disease from the ocean to the land of the living. It's a plague that only God can stop. They will do everything. But God shall give power to his people. This is a plague that only God can stop. And God will give power to his people in the midst of global upheaval. Now that you have watched part one and part two, these parts were given after the prophecy that is coming up next. Neither of these was the first prophecy concerning the coronavirus. Continue watching to witness Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa's astounding apprehension of the prophetic. But before we do, here is the fulfillment of the preceding prophecies. Two years, 10 months, and 24 days later. Barricaded and guarded by police with masks, Chinese authorities have traced a new deadly virus back to this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. They say a new strain of coronavirus originated here has struck dozens of people and put an entire region on edge. A newly identified coronavirus that emerged in the city of Wuhan in central China is now known to be transmissible between people. The Chinese president, Xi Jinping, says his country is waging a serious fight against the demon coronavirus outbreak. I saw it coming from the sea. The new deadly virus back to this seafood market. The virus was first identified at a market in the city of Wuhan last month, which was selling seafood. Is it food from the sea? Seafood. Seafood. A local seafood. The source of the coronavirus is. It's the wildlife and seafood market. Very fast, very aggressive. The virus is starting to spread faster. And this and new coronavirus, I guess, uh, definitely this looks like it spread fast. You will have another disease more deadly. This was already ambitious, to build a thousand bed hospital from scratch in less than a week. But authorities have decided it will not be enough. A second, bigger hospital has been commissioned. It will be something that you seem like it, it flies in the air. Chinese health authorities admit it for the first time on Wednesday that COVID-19 can spread through the air. China's National Health Commission admitted that the novel coronavirus can be transmitted through aerosols. It appears the virus could be aerosolized. And thousands, if not millions, if not billions, will die. Look at China's own actions. They have quarantined 60 million people. 60 million, more than the entire population of our West Coast. The coronavirus could infect 60% of the global population. 60%, that's an awfully big number. It's two-thirds of the world population. And this is according to Hong Kong's leading public health epidemiologist. This is Professor Gabriel Leung, the man who played a crucial role during the SARS outbreak. He has now sounded an alarm. He says the cases so far may just be the tip of the iceberg. The worst is yet to come. They can prevent it, they can slow it down, but they can't cure. Right now, we really don't have a cure for the coronavirus that's circulating that everybody is talking about. So unfortunately, uh, there's no specific known treatment for um, uh, coronavirus. They can't cure. We really don't have a cure for the coronavirus. Our learned people will break down, they will cry. Taiwan's health minister made headlines when he broke down in tears Tuesday night over the coronavirus outbreak. And I saw people falling like leaves and dying.
It's a plague. Churches in China and around the world called for three days of fasting and prayer in early February. It is our way to cry to God to repent and ask God to stop this plague. It's a plague. God to stop this plague. The prophet was very clear concerning the location from which the disease would come from. And it is not on any land, but it's. I saw it coming from the sea. Seafood. From the sea. Seafood. From the sea. Oh, seafood. From the sea. And seafood. From the sea. And listen again. But it will originate from under the waters, from the ocean. And last night, there was a headline, Mondo. Yes, sir. About uh, a Chinese man mm -hmm. in the United States, mm -hmm. and he was doing an interview. Yes, absolutely. This is the billionaire whistleblower is what they're calling him. He was having an interview with the former White House chief strategist, Steve Bannon, and the information that this whistleblower brought to the table shocked probably every media outlet right now is going viral. The information he said this, one, he believes, I quote, 1.5 million people are confirmed with the coronavirus in China. But this is the shocking part. Over, he believes over 50,000 bodies are being cremated right now, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is unheard of. Usually a crematory is run, you know, for the whole week, maybe four or five hours a week. Well, this one right now in Wuhan is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And he's saying this, China, the media, the people are not telling us the truth of the real numbers of what he predicts and he believes of the people that are dying, not the people that are being quarantined, the deaths that were not being reported, he believes is probably in the millions already. Mm -hmm. We're not being told. Just last night to this morning, there are 15,000 new infection cases as well as 250 new deaths that have already taken place within 24 hours. And now, here's what they're saying. If they don't get a hold of it soon, 60% of the world will come down with this disease. Is that right? Absolutely. According to Dr. Gabriel from, told The Guardian, it says this, and I quote, the coronavirus rate of infection suggests that 60% of the global population could get the virus if it is not brought under control. This was where it all began. On this day, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa gave a prophecy about the China explosion. This prophecy is already available online. This is the shorter version of the original prophecy. Let us listen closely to what the prophet said about the explosion and ultimately the coronavirus. We need really to pray. China, China there. China. It's, don't compare it to anything. These things are going to continue happening. Over and over, over and over, over and over again. But we need to pray. Because this time, there is a place somewhere where these guys are working on like a nuclear. The prophet clearly prophetically points out that this time, by using the phrase, this time, he was bringing out the profound prophetic insight that there are going to be many other times that these attacks will happen over and over again. But at this specific juncture, what would begin was the explosion. He then prophetically uncovers a conspiracy of the involvement of research laboratories when he said, like a nuclear. This additionally parabolically indicates 
the extensive destructive nature of the coronavirus. The way it is going to work, we need to pray. It's not all going to be about an explosion, contamination of the atmosphere. It was a demonic atmospheric contamination, which would result in the contamination of the atmosphere by the coronavirus. It is really catastrophic. It's chaotic. The World Health Organization has issued an urgent warning and declared the coronavirus a pandemic. In China alone, the number of deaths have been said to be well over half a million people and still counting. The deaths that were not being reported, he believes is probably in the millions already. But listen to this prophetic utterance once more. Whatever you see happening far away, it's not going to end there. It's a demonic spirit that has gone on rampage. The demon coronavirus outbreak. If that is the case, what then was the prophet referring to? It will stop at nothing. Save at prayer. Only prayer can save us now. The coronavirus has striked the fear of God into a large majority of people worldwide. With questions like how deadly is it, will we ever find a cure, how do I make sure I stay safe and so on, this virus has the world on edge. And of course there are questions as to how the virus started in the first place. Some sources claim it started with a bat soup of sorts. Others claim it started in a market where live animals were sold as delicacies. And the most wild claim includes that the virus was created in a lab. It's a plague that only God can stop. They will do everything, but God shall give power to his people. 